Right, the stage is set and the voters are now ready to hear Vice President Kamala Harris's pitch for why she feels she should be the president. Now, in her quest to become the first woman to hold this position, Vice President Harris is bringing another trailblazer to her campaign rally in the Metro tonight. The 44th president of the United States and the nation's first black president, Barack Obama. Well, all eyes on battleground state Georgia. Both presidential candidates, of course, are attempting to win over undecided voters here. Right. Atlanta News First Don Shipman is live for us in the Cab County. Don, former President Trump brought the fireworks to the Peach State yesterday, and now Vice President Harris is up. That's exactly right. Preparations well underway. Security is tight. We're kind of in a staging area right here. A lot of the vendors and national media all here. Vice President will be taking to the stage over there. And then also the former President Trump. He'll, he'll his campaign here in the metro later this evening in South Fulton. All of these campaigns, both of these candidates working to earn your votes as we race closer to the election. With just 12 days until the general election, both candidates are putting Georgia. We will have a national ban on price gouging. A rally for Vice President Kamala Harris in DeKalb County. Joining the Democratic candidate in Clarkston, former President Barack Obama, music legend Bruce Springsteen, Georgia's own Tyler Perry, and actor Samuel L. Jackson. Today's event following a town hall last night where Harris answered questions on inflation, the conflict in the Middle East, and immigration. We have to have a secure border and we have to have a comprehensive pathway for citizenship. I will protect our borders. The Harris visit comes one day after former President Donald Trump held this rally in Gwinnett County. Atlanta News First covering the campaign event in Duluth as Republican supporters Tucker Carlson, Robert Kennedy Jr., Ben Carson, and Tulsi Gabbard joined the former president on stage. Unlike in 2020, Trump touting early voting in Georgia. You got to get out there and vote, but most importantly, just vote. Whichever way you want to do it, I've been one that says, whichever way, just get out and vote. So far, more than 2 million Georgians have voted early, according to the Secretary of State's office. The Peach State, well on its way to surpassing 3 million, well before Election Day, November 5th. Now that Trump campaign event happening in South Fulton at 6 o'clock this evening. The Harris event, of course, here at Clarkston. That getting underway right around the same time. We're live here in DeKalb. Don Shipman, Atlanta News First.